So I bought this bike about five weeks ago and I think I got a relatively good deal again. I um, am looking at the cheaper end of the market most of the time and I picked this up, um, I think, quite well. So far I've been really impressed overall with this bike. So before I make any comments, positive and negative and uh, any other comments that I might make about this bike, overall it's a beautiful bike. Okay, so let's start with some of the positives about this bike. So one of the main parts that has attracted me to this particular series of motorbike has been the styling. And I don't know about you, but this is a beautiful Italian piece of machinery. I initially really disliked the new model Monster range. And as I mentioned in the reveal video, I I, I was a die-hard fan of the old styling, just the way that you could see the trellis frame going all the way back. Okay guys, so you can see the trellis frame at the front, but on the old monsters it used to come all the way back here, whereas now you've got this sort of spa type section, more boxy sort of section at the back here. So I was initially quite annoyed at Ducati when they released the 696, and that was because they seem to be moving away from that trellis design. Um, I am really, really happy that they've gone back and on the 821 and the 1200, which are the current series monsters, they've gone back to even more, having more trellis um, exposed. So I think they've now found a nice sweet spot. But on this particular bike, you can see that there's, there's no trellis at the back. I actually now, can kind of see what Ducati was doing because it's really modernized the bike. Right, it's bought, bought into the 21st century. So, um, but, it, but yeah, so it's it is grown on me. <laughs> the the this, this this frame has grown on me. So the tank again is something that's been um, updated, and you can see that on the front of this tank you have some air vents. And again, when I first saw that, I did not like that look at all. But now, uh, in real life, you know, having one in my garage, seeing it every day, I, I can see that the tank has been given a more robust design. And I know that the air vents serve a functional purpose as well. So that's kind of made me, you know, like I've made peace with the fact that they're there. But that shape of that tank, sweet. It's just, it's a, it, it definitely is a bit more sort of um, thicker, gruntier look than um, on the old monsters. So tank has really grown on me. The other thing that I really like about this bike is just the way that this rear section here has been made. So you can see how it's like really streamlined through here on this on this um, second rock. Well, this rear seat cover um, has come. You know, they made it more streamlined, so it looks a bit sharper. The other thing that really appeals to me on this bike is the dash and the mirrors. Just Again, aesthetically, like I'm not, I, I don't feel like I should get rid of these mirrors. They're, they're great, okay? Um, whereas opposed, um, on the old monster, they used to be these big, buffy Mickey Mouse ears, and functionally they were crap, and they looked like crap. Whereas on this particular bike, uh, I don't feel like I need bar ends. I'm quite happy with those mirrors, the way they look. Okay, so the dash is, um, again, a bit, bit of an improvement, obviously. It's a full digital dash now, and quite easy to see in most circumstances. In really bright light, uh, you won't see the dash as well, but that's, you know, uh, in, in any, if the sun's behind, you're not gonna see it, but apart from that, it's great. It's a very good dash. And just finishing off on the aesthetics, there's two parts that you, that the Ducati have kind of had a little bit of a play with on this bike, and that is the single-sided swing arm. I absolutely love the single-sided. There's, there's, there's nothing, I, I'm so, so happy that I was able to pick up a bike with that design right there um, because I, I just love single-sided swing arms. I don't know why, it's just that wheel sitting there um, from this side anyway, it looks so good. Okay, another thing that I have really liked on this design is the way that that exhaust pipe comes up from the block and it's uh, it curves up underneath and just the, just the way that they've sort of integrated that a little bit nicer rather than running it underneath the engine as they sometimes do on some of these bikes. It comes up underneath and then has the dual um, exiting exhaust at the back. So love the design. Okay so I'm going to speak about the negatives of the design that I have experienced so far on this bike. 
and that is this seat okay looks great okay the seat as as it sits is great but oh my god like the position is just horrendous for me i don't know how what it's like for other boys um, i'm sure it's wonderful for the ladies but for me this seat just does not work okay so you can see that there's this upward slant at the back here it, it looks kind of flat through here but then up here it's just it's, it's it slants right up and what that does is it pushes my massive ass <laughs> straight up and my boys at the front are being squashed right up against the tank it's, it's not even even at the tank but it's being sort of shoved underneath me at the front of the tank and yeah it's it's very uncomfortable so uh, very soon I'm actually getting this reshaped so hopefully they're going to think it's going to be cut out a little bit along here and then it'll um, it'll turn up a bit there and it'll be a little bit flatter and hopefully it'll be fine but um, you know going on the forums a lot of people have exactly the same experience as me so it's one of those common things 696 796 and the 1100 the 796 this bike here is a little bit taller than the 696 so that could have something to do with it but um yeah it's something that is going to be fixed hopefully with that fixed it'll be sweet okay what's it like riding the bike well apart from the seat position that i have just mentioned the bike is it's nimble it's it just wants to tip and turn it feels so much lighter than the 620 it's only 10 kilos lighter than the 620 monster that i'm upgrading from but it is it feels so much lighter there's so much the center of gravity i think is a little bit lower in this bike and definitely can feel the difference as you're um, as you're riding it especially around the corners it's amazing how newer and lighter this feels compared to the 620. Uh, some people have said on forums that the lighter uh, wheel at the back and the way that the um, swing arm assembly reduces the weight of the back has something to do with it and it's possible um, so yeah but um, just beautiful to ride the front the geometry of that front fork as well it seems a little bit more um, more like the angle is not as pronounced as on the older bikes so it's again a, a, a totally different sort of the, the the dynamics of the ride is completely different it just it seems to turn nicely i can easily do a u-turn on this bike whereas i was really struggling on the old 620. okay i haven't had too much of a play with the suspension yet but as of look for first impressions i have to say that it is a very hard sprung bike um, it, uh, going over any sort of rough rougher roads she's just like really really bouncy uh really unsettles the bike um so i've had a li i've had a little look um i'm going to see if i can do a few um tests and things like that there's no front adjusting there's no front fork adjustments on this on these bikes um the back's got um, rebound and preload so i will have a bit of a play with that hopefully i can find a nice sweet spot where it's it you know makes it a little bit softer for me um, but yeah look at the moment first impressions it's definitely a very hard sprung sort of bike riding position in terms of the handlebars and how you upright you're sitting well, apart, apart from the, 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 the issue i have with the seat it's nice and high it's not fully fully motard height but it's definitely not super sport either so it's i think it's actually probably the sweet spot for me anyway as to um, the location of the, the like the height of the handlebars is yeah, spot on switching to the mechanical side of things the brakes are really good i have found a lot of feel on the front brake in particular the rear brake is good however i have found that i'm activating the abs quite often and i don't think i ride that hard so i just think uh, because i do a lot of um, safety braking with my rear brakes I think what's happening is when I pull the front, obviously it loads up the front, the rear end uh, has a bit of, like it frees up a little bit and then when I apply the rear brakes, after applying the front brakes, I'm getting some, some ABS, ABS clatter as I'm, um, what do you call it, ABS chatter, chatter, letter, clatter, clatter, clatter. I don't know what it's called. Uh, the ABS goes off, and I can feel it pumping under my on, under my foot as I'm braking. So, mm, 
not sure what to make of that just yet, but it's the first time I've owned a bike with ABS and it's just a very unusual experience to feel the ABS um, underfoot um, as, I'm, as I'm just doing a normal sort of a break, nothing special. So one of the parts that I cannot fault whatsoever is the power of this um, L-Twin here. Just spot on in terms of having enough power for a bit of fun. So enough torque down the bottom end, enough to get off from the lights. Uh, really responsive, um, up around the 6,000 RPM. And then <laughs> once you get to a certain speed, which I'm not gonna talk about, it dies. It doesn't wanna go any faster. And um, that's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted to step back from the CBR 1100 to somewhere where um, it's still sensible, okay? And then that's exactly what this 796 does. Okay, the lights on this motorbike are, are absolutely outstanding in low beam. The upgrade from the 620 is just gigantic because the 620 had absolutely pathetic, hopeless lights. And uh, this, this bike has brilliant low beam. High beam is another matter. It's, it's good, but it's not as, like the step up from, um, from the 620 is not as noticeable. It's, it's pretty good still. It's still an improvement, obviously, but just not nowhere near as much as the low beam improved. Okay, and just finally, you might have noticed that I have a aftermarket exhaust on here. Some of you with very thorough eagle eyes might have noticed that they are cheap eBay knockoffs. They are not proper acropovic, acropovic, acropovic exhausts. They are super cheap AliExpress uh, Chinese knockoffs, and I have had a bit of trouble putting them on. Okay, so. First impressions with the stock exhaust, the bike sounded pretty crappy. As I mean, it, it was okay. Most Ducatis they had that, a little bit of a, of a growl when they come out with the you know with their stock exhausts. But once you open it up, even with a cheap set like this, you get that true Ducati growl starting to come in. So um, I'm going to do a separate review on these um, Chinese knockoff exhausts. Uh, so stay tuned for that. They are. They are what they are. I, I'll leave all the comments about that for another time. But what I can tell you now, what is the first impressions is um, even these cheapies, they uh, have really improved the sound and I'm super, super happy with how it sounds now. So that's it guys, this is my new bike. I am super happy, super impressed overall. The seat is a bit of a bummer. I can't wait till it gets fixed and hopefully uh, I, the guy who I'm taking it to has a really good reputation, he knows what he's doing. Uh, so hopefully it'll be, it'll be sweet. And then after that, I cannot imagine really wanting to upgrade from this bike. So this might be it for a while. I know I've said it before, but this will probably be my main bike for quite some time now. All right, guys, so any comments or you've got any questions, please write them below. And, you know, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe if you're looking to hear more about my bike. And as I have mentioned previously, uh, I've just switched back. So um, all of my videos about motorcycles will now be back on this channel rather than on Vroom Vroom Zoom. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Bye.